ready now? <laughs> hey guys, it's Lacey Marie and today I need to start that over. Hey guys, it's Lacey Marie and today I'm going to show you Snack Crate. For those of you who don't know what Snack Crate is, it features snacks from all over the world. So let's get started. I'm excited to see where this is going. Today, we are going to South Africa. That's exciting. Okay, so what I really like about Snack Crate is they tell you all sorts of snacks that come in your box. And I will actually be reading off of this. And then we get stickers. Who doesn't like stickers? How do you think they say hello in South Africa? Hey Siri, how do you say hello in South African? I can't translate from South yet. Sorry about that. How do you say hello in Swahili? I can't translate into Swahili yet. You are sometimes really stupid. How do you not know how to translate into Swahili? It's not very helpful. <laughs> okay, so for the first snack, I will be trying Mexican chili flavored potato chips. These chips feature a blend of savory spices with a delicious tangy kick. Better not be too much of a kick. I'm gonna die. They kind of smell like sour cream and onion. With a tiny bit of zest. There is 100% no kick to them at all. They literally taste like sour cream and onion chips. I got nothing. Not really that impressed. Ooh, up next we have mini cheddars. Mini cheddars. Fruit chutney flavored snack. What is chutney? I feel like I've heard of that before, like it's a spice or something. Not 100% sure. Mini cheddars are bite-sized crunchy biscuits infused with zesty flavor. We include either original cheese or a fruit chutney flavor. How come I could not get the original cheese? I would have been perfectly okay with that. Okay, but they're kind of cute. They're like a little, little biscuit. Kind of reminds me of like the chicken in a biscuit, but it honestly definitely doesn't smell like one. I can't even describe the smell to you. It's like something I have never smelled before. It tastes like chicken and biscuit, but not really the chicken and the biscuit flavor, but it's got that crunch like it, you know what I'm saying? It kind of, it's really sweet, but probably because it's called fruit chutney. That's my guess. And a little zesty. Honestly, I could leave them. South Africa, you are not good to me. Okay, up next we have cheese snacks. 
These popular corn snacks are easy to knack on. <laughs> I love puns. We've included either savory chicken or tangy fruit chutney flavor. So they gave me savory chicken, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Chicken flavored maize knack. I was not expecting this. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting them to look like, but not this. This was, it's like a, no, that was a bad piece to show. It's like a little french fry. Ooh, I think I'm gonna like these. Mm-hmm. You know what they taste like? Ramen noodles. They taste like air puffed ramen noodles. They don't look like ramen noodles. They're really quite cute. Very good, very good. So far, this is my favorite snack. Let's try the big taste that lasts. Well, hopefully it's a taste that we like because if it lasts and it tastes nasty, that would be bad. That would be very bad. It is a chewy toffee candy featuring a flavor similar to dark molasses. Oh my God. Perfect for an after dinner treat or perfect to not eat at all but we'll try it. I'm always down to try something once. So it kind of looks like a dark caramel, toffee flavored. Although honestly, I've never tried molasses, but it sticks to your teeth. It really sticks to your teeth. You say that? Yeah, that's nasty. It tastes like old coffee, like coffee that was like two weeks old, left in a hot car, and then kind of cooled down a little bit. I would send these to my worst enemy. That's who I would send these to. These belong in the trash. No, thank you. That's nasty. Nasty doesn't even begin to describe how that tastes. I guarantee you no one's trying that after they see this. Anything to get the taste out of my mouth, please. Ooh, Cadbury. Cadbury has never done anybody wrong. I don't feel like. This bar features a layer of creamy white chocolate on the top half and Cadbury dairy milk on the bottom. I feel like this is something I can get down with. I love it, you guys, look at this. This is so cute. They look like little poofy pillows. It better be a little poofy pillow in my mouth. So it's not fluffy, but I really like it. It just tastes like dark and white chocolate together. Very good. I'll keep this in my pocket. Just in case something else tastes bad and I need to wash the flavor out. Okay, for my next snack, snack, I will be getting or eating Caribbean onion and balsamic vinegar flavor. Well, you know that Lay's is always down to try new flavors. Let's see how Lay's describes it though. These chips feature tangy onion flavor paired with zesty salt and vinegar. Fair enough. 
actually don't mind salt and vinegar chips. They smell like, they don't smell like salt and vinegar chips. They smell like whatever Caribbean onion would, I assume, taste like. Well, let's find out. They're weird, but good. Not terrible. Um, could probably leave it. You know what? I would hate to go out on a first date and then kiss somebody after that. That'd be bad. That'd be like Dorito breath. Okay. For our next snack, we'll do the chocolate log. It says creamy marshmallow on crisp wafer covered in milk chocolate. I think they did a good job explaining it themselves for me to look at the paper. Oh, fluffy. It's so fluffy that the fluff is coming out. Look at that. That's a little weird. Kind of tastes like an old wafer with some marshmallow fluff on top. It's not bad. I feel like it's an acquired taste. I could leave it. Okay. So I have some mini cheddars, but this time they're cheese flavored. When I had the fruit chutney flavor. I already like it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Exactly like a Ritz cracker. With a little bit of cheddar. So kind of like between a Ritz and a cheese it I love these. They're really good. They're really good. Save that for later. Five star Cadbury milk chocolate and caramel soft chocolatey center and crunchy biscuits. Well, you know where that other Cadbury candy bar went. Right in my pocket. So I know this one's gonna be good. Let's see what this one says. What am I holding? Five star. Classic Cadbury milk chocolate wraps around a filling of caramel and cookie bits in the highly rated bar. Ooh. Yes. Yes. You really cannot go wrong with chocolate. Yeah, that's something to enjoy, for sure. I would keep it. I'm gonna keep it. Eat some more. See what they did there? Check it out, check it out. Creative, that was really creative. They're biscuits. They have been popular since 1940. These delicious shortbread cookies will leave you wanting to eat some more. I see South Africa really likes to play on words. I can get down with that. So it looks like a shortbread cookie. I mean, it just tastes like a shortbread cookie. I could leave it. So up next we have Tex. I was just looking for more words because I feel like Tex this is just boring. Since 1956, South Africans have loved this combination of milk chocolate filled with wafer layers on an aerated chocolate center. <laughs> aerated, huh?
Not for small mouth. Oops, I spit that across the room. <laughs> oh, it kind of tastes like coffee flavoring a little bit. Like a coffee flavored wafer with chocolate over the top of it. It tastes good, but it's not my favorite. So I'm gonna leave it. A bar one. Oh, this one's kind of like really healthy. It's probably not, but I'm the only one who thinks that. Okay. Bar one for a 25 hour day. See, it is health, health and wellness. Enjoy layers of malted nougat with a caramel topping that dipped in rich milk chocolate. That all sounds pretty healthy to me, but it's so small. Like where's the rest of the candy bar? That's why it's healthy, cause it's small. I get it now. It tastes like a Snickers, you guys. So pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I like about foreign candy? I don't understand any of the calories or anything, so do we count them? Probably not if we can't understand them. I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this. All right, last but not least, we have Sally Williams, the world's finest honey nougat. It's a soft honey nougat enrobed in a decadent Belgian dark chocolate, such as Sally liked. Just as Sally liked. <laughs> oh. Very fancy. I feel like this is gonna be the most divine chocolate. Okay, not what I was expecting right off the bat. I figured it was gonna be like really hard. I don't know why I figured that, but it kind of looks like it would be really hard. I don't know. Does it look like it would be really hard to you guys? It tastes like a dark chocolate Milky Way. No, not a Milky Way. A Three Musketeer, a dark chocolate Three Musketeer. I happen to not even be a fan of dark chocolate. So I'll leave it. Thank you guys for watching my first snack crate video. Totally forgot what else I was gonna say. Thank you for watching my first snack crate video. I hope you enjoyed. I still don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why this part's so because I messed that up. Remember to leave a like and a comment. And if you would like, you can follow me on Instagram, Living with Lacey Marie. Happy snacking! <laughs> Happy snacking! <laughs> Can't you just get my other snacking? This is so hard. Happy snacking! these for a moment. Can I just say, ew, ew. <sighs> and then you know what? They stick to your teeth. I'm still stuck on this. Like they were stuck on my, like, we fancy. Oh, we okay, so bougie. Sorry. Perk them bad boys back up.